Hello, Ali here, and in today's video we're taking a look at my top 5 Disting Mark IV algorithms. And when I was thinking about the best way to describe the Disting Mark IV, I kept thinking about this. Phenomenal cosmic powers! And that's because Disting is remarkably powerful and only takes up 4 HP, so it's kind of a no-brainer to have at least one of these in your rack. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 5 algorithms in no specific order. The quantizer in Disting can process CV information and quantize it to a specific scale. Currently I have a sample and hold coming out of PAMS. It's going into Disting and then over to PLATS. And we can define the scale as well as the range. generates a gate for every note it produces. I've got this going into maths here and modulating my filter. It's a really great way to generate melodies as well as work your oscillators in interesting ways. In this example I'm using a triangle wave LFO and we can really see how powerful the gate output can be here. I have the gate modulating channel 4 of maths and it's modulating the timbre on plats. As well as the filter cutoff. I really love delay, it's easily my favourite effect and I really like stereo and clockable delays and in this algorithm we can take an external gate like the one I've got coming from PAMS into the Y input here to set the tempo of the delay. So let's try changing the speed of the gate. And just to show you how much this is actually doing, let's have a listen to the dry signal. Very plain, very boring.
Slurry Limiter allows us to add glissando to our pitch information. So we can take a simple sequence like this and affect the rise and fall of the pitch. And I find this to be a really great way to just add variation to my sequences. There are two different flavours of slew. We have a linear and a logarithmic. Very simple, but so effective. Wavetable VCO is really powerful because it allows you to upload your own custom wavetables in the form of WAV files. And some beautiful person online has uploaded all of the wavetables from the VST Massive, and that's what we're listening to just now. And we can modulate the wavetable using the Y input, so let's check that out. right up into the audio range. Let's check out some of the other wavetables. great for these digital sounds.
couldn't really do a disting video without talking about the stereo reverb because it's one of those things that you kind of just need in a modular rack. The fact that this is just one algorithm out of almost a hundred is kind of mind blowing. That's been my top five disting algorithms. I'd be interested to know what your favorite is and how you use the disting in your rack. Um, if you'd like to pick up a disting, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And also please subscribe to the Signal Sounds YouTube channel. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all again soon.